everybody, welcome to Satisfactory ASMR Life. I'm Vanessa, and today we are going to be doing the ASMR accent tag. The accent tag was set up by the wonderful T for Two ASMR, which brought a bunch of fantastic ASMRs together for this awesome collab. Now we're not going to edit out sounds of the train because it's just a part of our daily routine and it's a New York thing. Um, and the accent collab, we're basically going to be doing accents, uh, trigger words, right? It was trigger a, words, they're yeah. Tr they're trigger words, on a, I would say about 15, 20 trigger words. Yeah, I'd say about 20, 25. 20, 25 yeah. trigger words um, that are on this list and we're going to say them in our accent now being native new yorkers born and raised you know first generation new yorker here second generation born and raised new yorker um we in new york we have a variety of ways of speaking we have the proper way which you guys are very familiar with when we speak to you from our channel we have like a jumbled way like when we speak like instead of saying certain words we just mix them all together and we have i would call it hood talk which in layman's terms would be well hood talk would be layman's terms but it's basically ebonics like the yo son what's up doesn't differentiate much from proper but it kind of characterizes, that's where the, hey, hey yo, what, what are you talking about here? That's where that New York accent kind of, true New Yorker kind of kicks in. I'm walking here. You're walking here. Get the hell out of the way. Move it on. We don't talk like that because the Bronx has a different kind of flavor. But there are people in Queens that speak like that. People everywhere that speak. People, yeah, we all speak. It's so weird. We're in such a small city but with so many nationalities and so many cultures all mixed in together that you know new york or new yorker is not foreign like people that are actually born and raised here understand each other from all walks of life like we speak we feel that we speak the same so it's like a really diverse state because there's not just one accent to really define it yeah agreed agreed so in these in this list of trigger words we're going to say it properly we're going to say it in my new york style vanessa is gonna say it in gen z as he wants to I call, wanna it, call right it gen now. z style because she's a younger generation maybe betty maybe <laughs> and also in um spanish just to add a little bit of a mix because we're hispanic so i'm gonna pull out the trusty handy dandy in her book Vanessa has a little cork board which she will also we'll be swapping it from back and forth and we're going to each take turns saying the same no we're gonna take turns saying the same words yeah. here become incorporating paper sounds in the video see now here are the words yeah, I have it written down. And why wait proper way Spanish? So we're going to start off with the first word, which properly said, now properly for New York, I could be saying it wrong altogether because. <laughs> <laughs> so the first word is going to be aunt. How do you say aunt? I don't say aunt. I don't try to be fancy. I'm just like aunt. Like a little aunt. Yeah, that. Aunt. I basically say aunt to my aunt, aunt. Yeah, my aunt. Yeah, my aunt. And if I was saying it in Spanish, it would be my tia. Or titi. Or me. titi. Not titi. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> titi. With an E, like T-E-T-E, -E, but it's still spelled T-I-T-I. -T -I. So those are our ways of saying aunt. Aunt. Auntie. <laughs> Auntie. The next word on the list is roof roof the roof is on fire i'm not gonna sing the rest of that I'm... roof 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 el rufo i don't know if that's actually correct it no. could be el techo 
El Rufo. That sounds very El Rufo does New not Yorican. sound like right. It definitely sounds very New Yorican if you ask me, but I say roof. I've heard people say rough. Have you've only heard roof? I've only heard roof. You've only heard roof, fine. The next word on the list root like a tree's roots. No, no. It's not spelled root like a tree root. But it that's what it's <laughs> Like, like oh, like, I take this route. The to proper go home. way of saying it is route. Again, in my opinion. Like there's a W instead of a U. Like there's a W instead of a U. Um, but I would say route. I wouldn't like you said. I would. It's a route. It's not a route. It's a route. Or in the Gen Z way, as he likes to call it, it's just a way. It's a. It's, it's, no, who cares about route? It's just a way to get somewhere. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. The next word on our list is wash. Wash. Oh wait, go back. Root, la ruta in Spanish. La ruta. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. I gotta teach Vanessa a little bit more Spanish. The next word on our list. Wash. I'm washing my clothes. Yeah, wash. I say it the same way. I don't think I'm, it's said differently than the wash. Some people say wish. Wish? I've never wish. heard wish. Wish is a wish, like the genie wish. Okay, don't drain me. <laughs> it's late at night and Venus is trying to drain me. Wash in Spanish is lavar. 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 Re repeat after me. Lavar. All right, now your turn. And I'll make some angles while you talk. So, the next word is... Oil. oil oil i think we the proper way i would assume is oil i kind of add an extra oil I'm like it's oil 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 but the better way is just oil 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 let me get some oil i need some oil in the car oil is such a greasy word <laughs> that's pretty draining next word is theater which properly pronounces theater. Mm. The theater, the theater. I've never in my life said theater. I've <laughs> always said theater. 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 Like there's no T in the middle. It's theater. Just theater. Theater. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's a New York thing. We don't pronounce T's in the middle of words. We replace them with D's, basically. Theater. Yeah. There's, that works. there's some other words in here that we also do the same thing to. One word that's not on the list that we do that to is button. Button. Yeah, button. Button's definitely a word we don't know. Uh, button act. sounds so weird. Button. No, ah. it's just button it. Button it. In Spanish, theater is el teatro. Now, I know I'm saying the Spanish words more properly because I don't really speak slang Spanish, so... The theater. Do you want to go to the theater? No. No, I'll be fine. <laughs> Next word is iron. Something I'm forced to do daily. It's part of her chores. She has to iron her clothes and her mother's clothes. I wear multiple layers because I'm outside all day, so I never need to get anything ironed. Is there like a specific proper way to say iron other than iron for us? No, iron is iron. I don't know how else we would say iron. In Spanish, it's a completely different word. It's la plancha. La plancha. La plancha sounds better than iron. Yeah, iron sounds like a vitamin. You're supposed it to be. Is, but no, but it's it, how you know that's not iron. We're not talking about iron, the vitamin. We're talking about iron, like the piece of metal. But you don't know that. I know that. Or in Betty's words, iron. 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 Okay then. I haven't said anything in the bonics, but it's the same thing. It's As just our normal. Yes, yeah, our speaking. normal. You just have to add yo and son and yo. What up? What up? Like a little bit more slang to it. Yeah, Yerk. the words are all said. It's very. I don't think any bonics will ever say the word, which is the next one. A salmon. I know. Salmon. I, that's the proper way of saying salmon. I've never said salmon. I just said salmon. I salmon. completely erase the L. I've heard a ton of kids in my class say, like, salmon. I'm like, what's salmon? And they're like, you know, the fish. I'm like, 
salmon. We say it's salmon in Spanish. It is salmon. It's actually the same exact thing, but it said salmon. When, yep. oh, this one I think we're gonna get a little tricky on. The next word. Pronounced a lot of different ways. Pronounced a lot of different ways. I'll let you start. Caramel. I've heard people say caramel. Caramel sounds better. It sounds more short, but caramel glides off the tongue. Yeah, ca caramel. I've been asking for like caramel sundaes from McDonald's since I was a kid. So I say caramel. I also say caramel. Caramel. Caramel just but, doesn't sound right. But we don't, I don't pronounce the caramel. It's just fluid. Caramel. Caramel. Caramel, yeah. In Spanish, it is caramelo. Right? It's caramelo. Isn't that candy? Caramelo could be candy. There's two seasons. Don't hold me. That's not caramel. Don't hold me okay. to that. Next word is fire. Properly said fire. I'm going all over the place <laughs> with this video. This properly New York. Spanish. Spanish. But you guys get the gist of it. Betty way is fire. Fire. And Gen Z way is heat. <laughs> heat? Heat. Why can't, but it's spelled fire. Why would you say heat? Why would I say fire? Because it's fire. See if I had a magic effect, like I would make my hands fire. Like if something's fire, people are like, damn, that's heat. Damn, that's heat. We used to use fire in the late 90s, early 2000s as something being hot or dope or like really cool. Be like, yo, that's fire, son. I didn't fire's fire it's like you know it yeah. burns it cooks it does a whole bunch of amazing things yeah my class is just like heat or legit or that's what's up okay that's pretty interesting the next one what we were discussing about was theater water yeah new yorkers don't pronounce the t inside of the in the in the word in the middle of a like a word it's water is how you're saying properly I don't think I've ever used water in a sentence. I've always just said water. Water. Water you does not, not sound water. right. Oh, you, you sound a little English when you say water. It doesn't sound right to me because I even never said it. We don't say it like that. How do you say it? Water. Water. Betty Way says it. Water. 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 Betty's from what? Queens or Brooklyn? Where's Betty from? She's just Betty in New York. I can't even say New Yorker. He's just Betty the New Yorker. Okay. Next word on our list is properly said sure. Sure? Sure. We, uh, the R-E, we probably add an extra H. Sure. Sh we we, pron we are an pronounce the S-H. It could be sure or sure. I've never said sure. It's just sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Said, I've said sure a couple of times. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, sure. Gen Z, they like to be proper, just Gen Z's. <laughs> the next word on the list is data. Data. Yeah, I've always pronounced it data myself. Data. 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 Data, data. No T. Data. The oh, there goes another one. No T. We don't like the T's inside of words. A t -t -t -t. In Spanish, data. You see how I, what I did there? I pronounced it. I have no idea. <laughs> now, this is not a vine, Vanessa. Get, it's get not it a vine. What it's a TikTok. Gen Z, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on to the next word. Next is ruin. Ruined. I've never in my life used that word. Have you? Use that word. Once ruined. when I was in the first grade, I ruined my mother's coat with nail polish. Okay, so Vanessa <laughs> has used that word before. Well, I'm sure I've ruined a few things. I'm not sure exactly what I've ruined. Tough times. Alright, it's your turn to make some sounds. My fingers are getting tired. Alright, so ruined. I have no idea how to say ruined in Spanish, so don't hold that against me, please. The next word on our list is crayon. I think it properly it's crayon. Could no, I think some people say crane or cron. Crayon. Give me a crayon. 
No, it's for us it's crayon. I've always said crayon. I tell them people pronounce it like without they don't say the full word. Like crayon is just crayon. Like they abbreviate it or something. Right. Alright, this one, which I did see T for two's videos, she calls it New Orleans, which is the proper way T, how you say New Orleans. I've always said it, New Orleans. I go both ways. I've, I've never said New Orleans. It's New Orleans. I don't even know which one's proper. proper I think New Orleans is proper, and New Orleans is how I say it. That's just from my perspective. Yeah. How would you say it? New Orleans, New Orleans. I go both. I do both. Okay. Funny you should say that because the next let the next letter my goodness I'm sorry the next word is both b o t h both both I think I add an extra oaf to that both oaf I'll be oafing it yeah sometimes oaf. in certain words instead of uh it's a f it's like f both I've said earth and truth a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's F's. Wow, I've never even noticed. It takes videos like this to make you realize how you speak. It's cry it's kind of crazy. The next word is again. Again. I've said again. Again. I completely cut out the Spanish because I have no idea how to say any of those previous words in, in Spanish. In a ton of songs, people say again. I've never heard anyone say again. In real life, I've never heard someone say again either. So, unless it was for a poem to make something right. So we, we say again. Again? Yeah. All right, cool. Again. The next word is a funny word because I say it wrong all the time. It has so many different pronunciations. When it's fast, probably. I've said probably. Mm -hmm. Probably. Probably is what I probably. Or probably. But the word is probably properly said. I probably used probab probably. Probably. I'm probably gonna go to the store today. I said probably a ton of times. I've never said probably before. I'm probably. Probably. I'm probably. Probably. I think I'm probably gonna go to the store. Probably. Yeah. So we say probably. 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 And probably? You say probably? Yeah. Pro Alright. Probably. That's interesting. Spitting image. Spitting image. Spitting image. I say spitting image. So I've so never this, said spitting image in a sentence. Though. This I've heard it a ton of times. Yeah. Oh, your daughter is your spitting image. I'm like, the spitting. amount of times. So you have heard it. Spitting image. I've never said it. I don't say splitting image. Why would oh, you no, say it's splitting? Spl it says I don't add the G. Spitting image. Oh, I do add the G. Spitting image. No, you don't. You cut spitting image. You. Spitting image. Spitting image. Okay, so spitting image. That's how I say it. Sounds like an entire word, like a merged word. So, the next word on the list is Alabama. Alabama. And I love down south. Alabama's down south. Okay. I think Alabama's somewhere down south. I'm horrible with states. <laughs> Me too. But if I see the word written Alabama, please. My Alabamians don't hate me. I, I say Alabama. It's from Alabama. I always say Sweet Home Alabama Sweet whenever home. somebody says Alabama. Like, Sweet, Sweet Home Alabama. Alabama. You kind of you gotta kind of say it with some country. If you're gonna say a word like Alabama, you gotta say it a little country, right? You're. All right. Next word on the list is lawyer. 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 Yeah, lawyer. Luckily in life, I haven't needed a lawyer. <laughs> Oof. Oof. I know a lot of people, and I know a few good ones. <laughs> but I personally haven't needed a... Lawyer. Lawyer. All right, cool. Next word on the list is your aunt's favorite thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> so if That's my sister-in-law <laughs> ever sees this video, she'll probably give me an elbow. But coupon. Shout out to Titi. Coupon. 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 I've heard coupon. I've heard coupon too. I mean, I have, I, that pronunciation just clicked. Coupon.
but it's not C U E. When people, the, when people just say coupon, I always think, what's a coupon? Oh, a coupon. Coupon. So we cut out the O and just, you know, because that would be coup, coup, I don't coupon. think it's naturally supposed to be coupon. I think it's coupon. It's, it's coupon should have, be spelled, should have been spelled with a Q. If it was to be coupon. If it was coupon. But it's coupon. Coupon? Coupon. Okay, fine. Let's <laughs> move on. Move past coupon. <laughs> Next word on the list. You got to take over for the ending. I have to say the entire word. Yeah. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Which is mayo. Said properly, mayonnaise. 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 You never say the whole word ever. It's just mayo. I've always said mayonnaise. If I say the entire word, it's mayonnaise. It's not mayonnaise. I've never heard anyone, unless like my wife is calling, like she's like, don't forget the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, <laughs> not mayonnaise. Don't forget the mayonnaise. Mom has a different accent. Yeah, my wife has a more South American accent. One day, maybe you guys might see it. I doubt it's ever going to happen. Yeah. So, mayonnaise is mayo for me. I never say the whole word. Yeah. It's just mayo. Mayo. I like mayo. Okay. <laughs> Next word is syrup. Syrup. Is there a proper way to say syrup? Syrup. Why do I keep going to back to like the English accent? My English people, I love you guys. I really wish I had that accent We're growing sorry. up in life. That's why I always like accent. Accent in the syrup accent. Because I love the English accent. Syrup. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. My favorite kind of syrup. Not no Aunt Jemima corn syrup. Real. Gary and Harmonious, if you see this, Canadian maple syrup. You had to. The best. You had to. Those are my boys. It is the best. Those so. are my boys. I got a shout out when credit is due. Syrup. I've heard people say syrup. 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 Syrup, syrup. 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 Next word is just PJs for... Pajamas. For me, it's just PJs. We say pajamas a lot because Sophie wears pajamas every day. Vanessa doesn't really wear pajamas anymore. I wear she, loose house clothes. She takes all of my shirts and... Okay, just the ones that don't fit. And she never gives them back. Shout out to Peep the Blue shirt. So we call them PJs, pajamas. Or just clothes to I've heard you. someone call them pajamas. I've know. heard some people call them jammies. Jammies, yes. Jammies is a big one. Jammies is cute. Alright, next one on the list. Caught. Caught. You got caught. Got caught. Caught is kind of like the New York accent. You can't say caught without. You got caught. No, you, you got like, caught. Uh, you got caught. You got caught. caught. You got caught. Yeah, caught. Caught. I've heard that too. Caught. You got caught. Yeah, it's always caught. It's caught. You got caught. Why does caught you sound dumbass? Like... You got caught. <laughs> <laughs> does, Never get caught. Why does caught sound like a fish? Cod is a fish. Cod caught. 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 Don't get caught. Don't get do caught either. Wrong. Don't get caught. 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 It sounds a little bit more Bostonian, like Boston. Caught? Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Boston people, I love how they talk too. They talk really cool. <laughs> Next one is naturally. 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 Yeah, it's just naturally. We, naturally. We don't. Pre- I don't do any of the extra. Naturally. 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 Like. We just added a CH in there for no reason. Naturally. Naturally. Yeah, that's pretty good. Next one is aluminum. Aluminum. Or just tinfoil. A lot of people say aluminium. My mother included. Aluminium. I, I, aluminum. It's That's how I say it. Aluminum. I say aluminio alum- in Spanish. See, I knew that word in Spanish, so I said it. I say aluminium when I feel fancy. <laughs> Aluminium? Aluminium. Aluminium? (laughs) You are kind of fancy because I've never heard that before. (laughs) And the last word on the list is properly said, I'm assuming is envelope. But I also, like Vanessa, say envelope. It's an envelope. Reminds me of a cantaloupe. Something that's going out of style because of email. Nobody sends envelopes except for credit card company. And who likes those people? Nobody. Envelope. Envelope. Envelope, envelope, envelope. 
cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, cantaloupe. Also, back to the T words. Letter. Not letter, letter. Ladder. Ladder. That actually has a D. Water. What else? Letter. Letter. Water. Button. Button. There's so many, but right now we're blanking. Oh, yeah, now we are blanking. Well, guys. Little. 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 How we forget little? You're little. <laughs> I'm insulted. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This was a really fun video to film. Thank you so much, t for 2 for coming up with this awesome collab. Um, other ASM artists are going to be doing this collab, which will also be linked in the description because that seems awesome because there's so many different people and they're all amazing. <laughs> so, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe.